name my SKUs is a very common question among product-based businesses. Creating a consistent naming system for all your SKUs can be more painful than coming up with names for your own children. Whether you have two products or 2,000, this video will help you name all those SKUs in order to be more efficient and save you a lot of time and hassle in the long run. Naming all future SKUs will become much easier after you come up with a standard methodology you can fall back on whenever you need a new SKU. I'm Stacy with Ledger Gurus and in this video I'm going to explain why SKUs are important for your business and show you several ways to use them to make your life easier. I'm also going to show you how to create a methodology to name your SKUs in three easy steps. Please follow our channel for all the latest in e-commerce accounting tips. Imagine trying to use a description for every item you sell instead of a SKU. If you had to type yellow shirt, size 4, puff sleeve, every time you reference that product it would be super annoying and incredibly difficult to keep clean. Instead of using a description, each unique product typically has a unique SKU. This helps shorten the identifiers from long and lengthy descriptions while staying specific to the item. They can easily be searched for and clearly identified. The SKU can be used internally as well as on your channels and with your suppliers when you order. SKUs are important because they help you track your inventory for a variety of purposes, including inventory quantity tracking, fulfillment purposes, forecasting, and ordering. SKU codes are an integral piece in scaling a business. They can be used across many areas of your business, including product packaging, product shelving in warehouses or in fulfillment centers, picking lists, order receipts and invoices, online store dashboards, including your marketplaces, sales reports, accounting dashboards, and inventory management system dashboards. Now, you might be thinking, this is all well and good, but how do I actually create SKUs? Enter Ledger Gurus with some suggestions. You can always randomly generate numbers and letter combinations when coming up with SKUs, but we strongly recommend you use a different approach. SKUs are much more useful and easier to use when they can be read as a description of the product, identifying many of the product's most important characteristics. Any parameters you would use to identify your product can be abbreviated in the form of letters and numbers that will allow you to easily distinguish one product from another. Things to consider would be the product's manufacturer, the product name, the model of the product, sizes, colors, descriptions, material, or any other parameters that are specific to the product you sell. So let's look at an example together. You can see in this table that the ending SKU clearly identifies the style, color, and size of the product. The long sleeve white tee in size medium is easily identifiable with the LST WHT M SKU. Here is another example of a cleaning company's products. Someone with very little experience in these companies could easily tell you exactly what the product SKU is referencing without needing a lengthy product description. Here are some best practices to consider when getting started naming your SKUs. Try to stick to one SKU naming formula for all of your products. The best SKUs are between 8 and 12 characters long. Keep them easy to read and easy to understand. Avoid confusing letters, numbers, and special characters. Avoid starting a SKU with a zero. If you put that item in a spreadsheet, Excel will edit out the beginning zero, creating a lot of hassle and frustration for you. Also, arrange SKUs in order of importance, typically generic to specific attributes. And the best SKUs have easily identifiable attributes and qualities. I recommend three steps for developing SKUs for your products. Step one, start SKU numbers with the main identifier. Ask yourself, what is the most important identifying feature of this item? The first two to three letters or numbers of the SKU should indicate this. It could be a category, department, manufacturer, or some other main identifier. Step two, use the middle number for unique identifiers. Ask yourself, what is the next important thing that identifies this item? The middle section is best for colors, sizes, item types, etc. Step three, use the last numbers for additional identifiers. Is there anything else you need to use to identify this item quickly and easily? Use the last few letters or numbers for it. This could even be a sequential number like 001, 002, or 003 to identify how old an item is. Older items will have smaller numbers. Establish a coding system around some of your identifiers. Ask yourself, what makes this product different from my other products? Make a list of all the parameters for all of your products and how you identify various aspects of them. Consistency is crucial in this process. Here are a few examples.
Creating these coding systems now will make it much easier for you to scale later as you add more products to your catalog. If you have any questions or want to talk to someone about how to build your SKUs, you can reach us through the link in the description below. Catch you on the next video.